And then Harold says, what do you, you wasn't sure what to call it. It's the Disinformation Governance Board, or DGB, mm, in DGB. honor of KGB, because that's what it is. It's oh. the Thought Police. This is a person who, di- who di- doesn't say mom. She says birth person. She also says Twitter is for cis normative white males. So she's a woke bot. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious By saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious It's how you hide a little hide a little lie It's how you hide a little hide a little lie It's how you hide a little hide a little lie When Rudy Giuliani shared bad intel from Ukraine Or when TikTok influencers say COVID can cause pain They're laundering disinfo when we really should take note And not support their lies with our wallet, voice or vote Oh! This woman has spent a ton of time on TikTok, which is the Chinese Communist Party's largest espionage tool in the world. I find that an interesting thing given her experience, according to the press secretary, of bringing a lot of uh, you know, perspective on disinformation to this job when she spent so much time on TikTok engaging on that platform. Seems to me she belongs on Broadway, not in a government job. give you a sense of who she is. Um, she's an expert on online disinformation. She was formerly in the Wilson Center's disinformation. She was formerly a disinformation fellow at the Wilson Center. She's testified before Congress as well as the United Kingdom and European Parliament, advised a Ukrainian foreign minister, particularly relevant in this moment, under the auspices of a Fulbright Public Policy Fellowship and overseeing Russia and Belarus programs at the National Democratic Institute. Any hiring decisions are up to the Department of Homeland Security, but this is a person with extensive qualifications. Now, she's not simply a hypocrite. She obviously is, whether she knows it or not. She would be too dim to understand hypocrisy. What she really is, of course, is a heavy for the Democratic Party, and she's done that job flawlessly. Nina Jankowicz, the disinformation hunter, once called the Hunter Biden laptop story, which is entirely true, a, quote, Trump campaign product. In October of 2020, she wrote, quote, voters deserve the context, not a fairy tale about a laptop repair shop. Now, did she give us the context or any countervailing facts? Did she deliver the truth about that story? No, of course not. She just read a bunch of lies somebody handed to her on a card because she's a useful idiot. 